Welcome, lords and ladies, to the market. I'm your humble merchant, the Goat King. Gather around, for my wares are more than mere baubles. These trinkets are objects of power, talisman. Today, we're talking talismans in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and the Magus makes an appearance near the end. But first, the basics. A talisman is a single-use magic item attached to a weapon, shield, or set of armor. These items have very specific effects and usually require some proficiency in a specific skill or save. While this can make them very niche at times, it also makes it easier to sort through the many options. To attach or remove a talisman, you perform the Affix a Talisman activity. This activity takes 10 minutes and requires a repair kit. Because talismans are affixed to a weapon, shield, or armor before they can be used, they often serve as a way for a martial character to bring more magical powers to the fight, almost like having a very specific focus spell, one that costs money. Speaking of money, other than purchasing handfuls of talismans, how can your character gain access to these trinkets? First, of course, is crafting. The magical crafting skill feat can be taken at level 2 if your crafting skill is expert. More likely, you'll have to wait till level 3. Once you have this skill feat, you can craft talismans in your downtime, one at a time, every four days. I can't wait for the crafting variant rules rumored to be coming in Treasure Vault. Before we move on from skill feats, Rapid Affixture is available at level 7 to Master Crafters and allows you to affix a talisman in one minute rather than ten. But if you really want to incorporate talismans into your character, you should look into playing a Thaumaturge or taking the Talisman Dabbler archetype. Thaumaturge class feats for talismans align quite closely with the Talisman Dabbler. Because of that, we will cover the feats that are similar together, and then we'll wrap up with the differences. At second level, Talisman Esoterica, or the Talisman Dabbler Dedication, gives you the ability to craft two temporary talismans each day as part of your daily preparations. You also gain the formulas for all common talismans from the core rulebook, up to your level. You memorize these formulas, and do not need a formula book to record them within. At 8th level, Elaborate Talisman Esoterica, or Deeper Dabbler, allows you to craft two more talismans per day. This feat can be taken again at 14th level. At 14th level, Grand Talisman Esoterica, or Talismanic Sage, allows you to specifically treat one item so that two talismans can be affixed to it at the same time. That covers the similarities, but the Talisman Dabbler has just a little bit more. The Talisman Dabbler Dedication also allows you to affix four talismans to different items at the same time when using the Affix a Talisman activity. At 4th level, Quick Fix is essentially rapid affixture with a few small adjustments. Now, before we see a few examples of talismans, I want to cover a few things that use the talisman rules without actually being talisman. Spell hearts are permanent magic items that are affixed to a weapon or armor as if they were a talisman. They typically impart resistance to a specific damage type when affixed to an armor, or bonus damage when affixed to a weapon. Spell hearts also give you the ability to, you guessed it, cast select spells. This usually starts with a cantrip from low-level versions of the spell heart, and higher-level versions give some daily use spells. I mentioned the magus near the beginning of this video, and here's where they jump in. Striker's Scroll is a feat available to level 4 magi that allows them to attach a scroll to their weapon as if it was a talisman. This scroll can then be activated as the spell casting for a spell strike. A truly powerful ability for the class so hungry for spell slots. I've collected for you a small handful of the many, many talismans available. Ones that had art. A full list would be... extensive. Wolf Fang is a first level armor talisman. For those trained in athletics, this talisman adds bludgeoning damage to a successful trip. Dragonbone Arrowhead is a fourth level weapon talisman. This talisman functions for those who are experts in their weaponry. Giving the weapon the throne trait and returning it to the wielder's hand after attacks for one round. Gallows Tooth is a level 8 weapon talisman. For a master in intimidation, this talisman will impose the flat-footed condition on your enemy. Orchestral Brooch is a level 8 armor talisman. A master performer knows the value of this talisman and its ability to improve their performances. 
specifically by creating magical music as a backup accompaniment to their performance. Unlike most talismans which crumble to dust, this leaves behind a mundane brooch. Iron Medallion is a level 10 armor talisman. Those with a masterful will stand to benefit from this talisman's protection against fear effects. Mummified Bat is a level 10 weapon talisman. Even those with masterful eyes stumble in the dark and struggle against those hidden by invisibility. This talisman relieves such difficulties by giving you the blind fight fighter feet, or if you already have that, imprecise echolocation for one minute. Vapor Sphere is a level 14 armor talisman. You must be an expert in reflex saves and your armor to benefit from this talisman. Vapor Sphere is a potent defense against traps and surprise attacks. When activated, you gain 25 resistance against physical damage and immunity against precision damage from the triggering effect. In addition, you are immune to forced movement from the effect and can fly 5 feet before the talisman burns out. A full list of talismans can be found linked in the description on the Archives of Nethys. Spell hearts can be found in the Secrets of Magic book, as well as you can find the Magus there. The Thaumaturge can be found in Dark Archive. And of course, Talisman Dabbler can be found in the Advanced Player's Guide. Thank you all for visiting the market. I have been your humble guide, the Goat King, and as always, travel with loyal companions.